my life, I could feel an insistent gnawing in the back of my mind. It was a yearning, a thirst for discovery that could be neither numbed nor sated. Hey everyone, good morning, welcome back to some more Let's Play Modded Darkest Dungeon with me, your host Tim. And as usual, remember, this is a modded version of the game. You can see the description down below as to Red Hook's stance on modded versions of the game. I am working on this so that I can see if, if it feels about right. On that note, we're almost week 20 now. I think this is week 18 or 19. And what it, what it looks like we'll be getting level 3s soon. We're looking pretty good on the blacksmith. One more, but well, we need more deeds, and then we'll be able to level blacksmithing to level 3 and be able to keep up with our leveling heroes. These are looking pretty good over here in the guild. Although, wow, although we apparently really need portraits badly because we're going to want level 3 skills soon for my level 3 characters. Apparently I've been working on making it cheap in order to purchase them. Sanitarium's looking pretty good. We got people in there. We probably need to begin working on another rank of the treatment library and probably getting my medical devices down a little bit. Our abbey is looking fairly good. With one more rank in the penance hall, I'll be pretty content with this. The rest of these I'll be working on in the later portions of the game. Anything with the tavern. The tavern's looking pretty good. It's gotten some some decent upgrades. I probably should also unlock a second rank of these so that the caretaker doesn't really affect us too much over there. And our carriage is great. We're getting four people in each turn. I actually upgraded it one more rank so I can get a fifth person in in my desperate attempt to get a man-at-arms, a mercenary, or... Oh, I think there's one more class I'm forgetting, but I haven't seen them yet. Alright, so... That's a brief, oh, synopsis of the town. Actually, we have the Nomad Wagon, which has been made a little cheaper. One more cheaper, and then I'll probably upgrade the wagon size a little bit in order to get more variety in here. Because we should hopefully be making a little more money once we start doing level 3 missions. And our survivalist, well, probably one more upgrade, and then I'll begin purchasing more camping skills for all my characters. Right now, it's um, still a little too expensive to purchase, and I can't find the money to purchase other camping skills. Alright, so we're going to another location, so we can kill the, that sodden crew. And I still am a, I'm a huge unfan of the Martyr Seal. I think this is, this is useless, uh, especially given the change they had done in the base game, where... Well, where you have a bunch of stat penalties now for being on Beth's door that lasted the remainder of the game. This is... I don't like the Martyr's Seal at all any longer. Now, we need portraits. I also see a long mission here. Hmm. I need portraits, though. So we probably should do a short... Short mission. Yeah, so I think we'll go to the Warrens. So, let's take a look and see who we want to come with us here. We can bring Foliot, who needs some experience points. Oh, I'd love to bring Pithu, but he's sickly. You know, I guess we could bring him anyway. We just have to... We'll have to get used to the idea that he'll probably be diseased. I also don't like him having Solo without Finale. Because this bumps him up to the front, is that right? Forward three, and then he can't do anything there, but move back himself next turn. I think we'll wait around, actually, to bring our other Jester. Natural Eye is useless. Cove Tactician, you don't really want to be in here. Things are very agile. We can bring... We can bring Corbet with us. How about you, Gaborovic? Manslayer? No, not for this one. I'd like to bring someone who's a little... Evasive. Can things stun me in here? Can't... Yes, but not the front rank. So, Essany will come along with us. And then we have a room for one rank two person. Things in here are resistant to blight, so that won't help me. Can you use any of these skills from this rank? You can. Then I can't use Battle Heal. I'll be forced to use just Inspiring Cry. Let's 
Slam moves you forward one, and that's really it. That's an, you have, if it bleeds, you do. That will give you something to do on the third rank. Will you go with the Crusader? No, they will not. Okay, so then that's gonna... That will be out then. So... Okay, oh, I'm sorry about this, everyone. I'm doing this on screen, I just realized. We'll bring... Zoophobia uh, is not gonna be good in there. We could just bring you for the stuns. That would honestly be the only reason you'd be in here, though. Is just for the stun of the battlefield medicine. It's kind of a waste. Gaborovic, I guess you will come along with us. Yeah, you have all these abilities can be used from the third position. Vengeance Dire! It's an interesting name for a group. I actually kind of like that one. We're going to do the room battle one. Actually, are we doing the room battle one? What's the other one in here? Sure, we'll get another Eldritch Slayer's Ring. Um, we'll bring eight food, because we might find food in here. A single shovel should be good enough. We'll bring two Anti-Venom. We'll bring three bandages? Uh, we'll bring a fourth, just in case. Two medicinal herbs, one key, two holy waters, and six torches. That's a lot of supplies for this type of dungeon. Hmm. Yeah, so things are things feel pretty good so far with the with the mod. We've had a few lucky lucky runs. We've had a few very unlucky runs as well. <laughs> that profit fight, oh my god. They breed quickly down there in the dark. But perhaps we can slay them even faster. I would really like the profit fight if it, when you moved people around, it did the rubble did like half damage to you because you moved people around, which messed up his proclamation. That would be great because then you'd be spending time you'd want to bring characters who have movement tricks so that they can move and still do something to him. Or you'd be sacrificing you're an action of a hero in order to have the damage reduced. Instead, it's just flat, pure, massive amounts of damage, and there's absolutely nothing you can do about it. But hope, <laughs> hope you have enough dodge to avoid to avoid such hits. Carelessness will find no clemency in this place. It wasn't so much carelessness. We just didn't we didn't scout that that thing. This is probably going to be a very expensive run. I mean, recovering from this is going to be expensive because it's a short run, which means that the money's worth a little less, and we don't usually leave with a full inventory of stuff either. Might as well keep our light at 100%. Oof, wow, traps really don't want to hit. As I really would like to hit Estony. We already have a food check. We'll come back for that if I feel like we can handle it. My most so the most important thing at the moment is for me to win the mission. So I solidify the extra gold I'll earn at the very end. I don't need the trinket, whatever that is. It'd be very nice to have, though. But I want to see how well this group just functions. Continue the onslaught. Destroy them all. We do have quite a bit of AOE damage with my Crusader and Gregor Vic. Oh, you can't do anything from that spot but heal. Okay. I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to move you. You can't use pick in the face from the back, but you can use your all your throwing stuff, and that would free up at least illumination. 
us this advantage. Give them no quarter. As the fiend falls, a faint hope blossoms. Time to drag him forward. We can keep healing on my other peoples and maybe time. Oh, that's a that's not that's not smite. <laughs> Um, we can hit him with these two, with Grabovic and oh, which, Estony. So, because they can reach the third spot. So I'm going to instead heal some stress. Oh, he wants to be on the first spot. I get plus 3% to crit if he's there. I'm gonna. Hmm. I might. I thought I had given him the ability to decrease armor with that. I think I might have to add that back in manually. I like the enemy marks. I want them to have more debuffs and what have you associated with them. Their formation is broken. Maintain the offensive. That was good. Sapphire's always welcome. We'll try this for a tiny bit. We do have a Grave Robber, which gives us a decent chance to disarm traps, so we will go this way. A single Blight effect like being hit by one of those corpse eaters, will not be enough to get me to use a Blight Potion, unless... Um, the Anti-Venom, unless it crit me. We can heal through this damage. Let's stun the front, too. I'll probably die, well, hopefully next round. Heal, heal through crit damage. Exposed to a killing blow. I meant heal through the AOE damage. Unnerved, unbalanced. Wow, two crits from him on the same person. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. Stop that nonsense. Remember that in the current game, all these effects that they're using have debuffs. I have removed them from the game. Uh, I'm gonna heal. Oh, I was hoping to actually kill one of them right then. Unless this crits. Okay, we can still heal the majority of that. Actually, we won't heal the majority of it, but we'll, we can still heal some of it, I guess. Wow! This guy's slippery. This is taking too long. Yup, another slice and dice. Damage. Hopefully, we'll heal a little more than that. Oh, that's wonderful. I love when that crits. As victories mount, so too will resistance. We definitely won't be coming back for that shrine if I run out of food as well. So I'm interested in trying to acquire another four food. Let's find some things to kill. <laughs> Good job, Corvée. I can see he's he's not quite the healing the healing type. Fifty bucks. Okay, let me 
have a trap. Hmm, maybe I should drop the debuff charm. That won't be a concern while we're in here. Well, no, I guess that, that would work if we fight more drummers. We'll keep it on, I guess. Eight dodge is decent for level one dungeons, at least. So, she's just gonna keep healing, because we need the healing. Good crit, Perboro. I think I'm done with you, hardly. Okay, this is a good time to use anti venom See, Sam has got two of those on him. Always try to kill one who hasn't gone and give a good chance to do so. Stress damage. Oh, wow. Six damage from that. I think that's the max he can do. Oh, he also does a little extra damage to bladed tar uh, marked targets. Now we kill it with the dagger. Masterfully executed. Oh, did that sting? Good job, Poro. Thank you. Seize this momentum. Push on to the task's end. We've got only two torches left. If I want to actually do that fight, I will need... I will need to hold on to a torch as well. Alright, so this is the only thing I have left I, that I must do. We will go this way. Sure, we'll use an anti-venom. I killed the that would mark me. Devastating blow. It should die when it activates. God, you blood on my best coat. Good for you, Gripor. That's three crits in a row, I think. How quickly the time turns. Oh, good for them spreading the bleeds around. That's annoying. Great is the weapon that cuts on its own. Wow, nice job, Foliot. Foliot. I get a bandage or you'll be fine. You can actually heal. Wow, you can actually heal. Good, nice crit. I still need to make that not hit, I think, the person in the front rank. Oh! Injury. Palpable fear. Two crits. That means that's going to last for a long time. a little bit. This is actually a really good group. I like this. The ground quakes. Think I'm done with you? Hardly. Good. Grabora, this is amazing. You are one badass chick. <laughs> okay, I need to cure that as well. That's a little too much damage. Good. Killing him before the dots tick also let me... Horrors. Brought low and driven into the mud. Let me heal a little more damage. We don't need the shovel in this location, so we can now drop that, and we'll take the anti-venom instead. We can get rid of the key in this room. We can also use our, well, use a torch. And let's go in. Little pig in the back first. Yeah. 
And I'd like to get him gone because I don't want any diseases on me. Well, you know what, actually? I think I'd rather kill the slasher to start. Oh, have we covered the slasher yet? The differences? Yeah, yeah, I, I have covered all these creatures already. Uh, I might not kill it. We'll spread the damage around a little. Take his dodge away if I can, and then we'll kill him with a Holy Lance. Oh, one hit point left. Such a shame. I will kill it. That's too much. The risk of a crit from him is too great to let him just not be attacked. Not killed. Let's try working on this guy next. I will also heal. Healed a little damage. Get some of that little stress down. Just you and on us, drummer. May we find victory. I'm, fi I'm fine with that. I'd much rather you do that than make me a little more stressed out. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. Hmm. We don't need. Med oh, we might want medicinal herbs, depending upon what lies up ahead. Okay, we don't need a single jade. We can drop the single jade. The money's worth more. Let's open this up. Oh, I want both of these too. We don't need any more keys. We'll take the crests. And now is the question. Am I going after the shrine? Can this group handle the shrine? We do have AoE to take care of the little guys. We've got some good damage to take care of the giant one as well, and we have some healing. We've got a holy waters, anti-venom, and some bandages to help us fight him as well. I think we'll give it a try. If on the way to him, though, we get a food event, then I'm just not going to bother with try making an attempt, because I don't want to take a starvation check. So that means I need the shovel, I want to keep everything else. I like to, If there's food up ahead, I'd like to use medicinal herbs to take it. So, we will just not take the portraits. We have to go back through this hallway. We'll have a fight to do. And then we make our way to the shrine. We're probably going to get the food check. In which case, we just won't be actually doing that fight. No reason to ever interact with one of those. Best case scenario, you get a positive quirk, but we've already established that you do not want positive quirks from the dungeons because you will just get filled up too quickly. Oh. Okay, that's better. Let's try killing that bat guy first. I can kill both of these guys immediately. He seems to always start with point blank shot now, since the AI change. I think I, I think I like that. That's a lot of damage to deal right away. It's. 
up to two less damage, but I put a bleed on him, which is effectively two more damage. Wow, give it a try. Really doesn't like Corbet. damage. I definitely like to kill him before he gets off a rain of whips. That didn't happen. We have two people bleeding. Wait, did we just all gain stress? Was that re-added into the game again? I hope not. I'll have to, I'll have to check the file after this is done. The Might as well. Is struck. A blazing star is born. Heal some more stress. We're likely to go before him. Monster's size has no intrinsic merit, unless inordinate exsanguination be considered a virtue. Oh, holy crap. And we found an extra scroll, too. That's wonderful. Who's going to get rid of a quirk they've got? You have no negative quirks on you, good sir. Why don't we get rid of this shocker? Oh, no. We might actually be able to fight it. <laughs> a little nervous. I actually, I'll be honest, I was hoping to get the food check to have an excuse to not do this. But we're going to make the attempt. We will attempt to flee if things go really horribly for us. We're, we're right where we want to be, Mr. Vic. Okay, let's eat the food. We're going to take off, I think, the debuff charm. Because I want you to have all the dodge you possibly can get. We're absolutely going to be surprised and shuffled. So, do I want to begin moving people around in preparation for that? I think we'll do this to start. Why don't we do that to start? Okay. Oh man, this will be our first one of these in this in this mod. So right away I can tell you that I may, I've lowered the amount of armor he has. But I don't think I've altered him in any other way, nor have I altered his the little guys in any way whatsoever. So I just reduced his armor. I think he had like 33% originally. I think I lowered it to like 15. So let's... I need to test the creature anyway. Let's, uh... Let's do this. Arrows may indeed stalk these shadows. Oh. Yonder, a glint of gold. This is really awkward. I need to push my Hellion forward. We can't get the light higher. So, do I want to push her back? I do. I'm going to leave him here. Yeah, we'll leave him here. He's just going to heal some stress because we're about to take a ton of it. I forgot to use holy water. That was really stupid. Yep, now we're all gonna take lots of light damage. And we'll start healing. Tiny bits. Not bad. We've almost got its hit points low, lower too. Ringing ears, blurred vision, 
The end approaches. Half. This expedition is doomed! <laughs> Focused! A moment Board of rage. Destined for triumph! Oh, I guess you are combat focused! But you're gonna die at this rate. You're at half your hit points as well. Wow, I won't do enough damage to kill it. This thing's position makes it tricky to actually fight him as well. Oh, thank God, that was wonderful. Well struck. A righteous blow. You going virtuous right here is a wonderful thing, Corvo. Focus, wow, they do a lot of freaking damage. Oh, because their buff is on them, and stacking, of course they're going to do a ton of damage. And that's dumb. I should be attacking just about anything else. Actually, we may have to flee. That This one here is going to be a real pain in the butt to deal with. Keep focusing on him. Wow, bleed, whoa, holy crap, everyone. I can't purge bleeds anymore. Dazed, reeling, about to break. We may have to flee. I don't really want to, but I think we I think we have to. Injury and despondence set the stage for heroism or cowardice. Oh, that's interesting. That, yeah, that's that's a shuffle, but it doesn't do any more dot damage to me. Go forth, friend, to victory! Oh, wow, that was wonderful. Holy Lance. Oh, we might actually win! The bigger the beast, the Pardon greater my the reach. glory. This thing's going to be a pain to kill, though, if we can kill it. Oh, we can bring the light back up now! We still might lose someone to this one, because it's it's going to be this for the remainder of the fight. What's its dodge? No plus dodge, we're just getting unlucky. Impressive. You are damned. Be wary. Triumphant pride precipitates a dizzying fall. Wow, I've never seen this before. That is wonderful. I'd like to give it to you, Corbett, because that would make a lot of sense. But this would also be good on... Actually, this would be fantastic on you, Darkness42. So I think it will go to you. Actually, that makes a lot of sense for you. Their squeals fade. Their confidence is shaken. I think I made a few bad choices during that combat, but thankfully we still we still won. We have another level two. Ruins tactician. Nervous, I don't blame you. And early riser. 
all the decadent horrors I have seen pale in comparison to that final crowning thing. Seuss, engage in flesh. I could not look, oh. nor could I look away. Engage in pledge of the flesh, we covered 81 stress. Granite Phil had night in the town, covered 56 stress. Cassandra Prater covered 69. Gracian Darkstep removed hysterical blindness. Robert Baron removed Hylomania and locked Eldritch Slayer. Cal Rowe removed Thanatophobia. Estony is now Adventure Hellion level 2. And last week I upgraded the guild one more time, increasing it to level 3. And wow, we only earned two portraits from that, so we have to go back to the Warrens again. <laughs> I really should be holding on to portraits when I find them. They're going to be the most difficult thing for me to acquire a lot of. Okay, so that will do it. Thank you for everyone for watching. This has been another Darkest Dungeon. I have a lot of stress to get rid of. We have trinkets to move around. And when we come back, we'll be ready for another mission. And I'll probably be going back to the Warrens again. Oh, I love these boots. So yeah, we'll definitely be going for the heavy boots. So I will see you guys then. Take care, and thanks for watching.